So we're at uh, track C in the post area, epidemiology and prevention sciences, and I'm standing here now together with... I'm Curtis Chan, I'm from the Kirby Institute in the University of New South Wales, Australia. So Curtis, uh, can you tell us a little bit about your study here today? Yeah, so I'm presenting results from the Prep Appeal study. This was a large cross-sectional study of men who have sex with men and transgender women across 15 countries in the Asia region. And we looked at assessing HIV risk based on condom use and PrEP use. So we found that of the, the participating countries, about 11% of sexually active participants, so that's 13,000 men who have sex with men, didn't report having any anal or vaginal sex. About a third, so 30%, said that they were using consistent condom use. About 15% said that they were having some condomless sex with PrEP, but the most worrying group is the 44% of people who said that they were having condomless sex and without PrEP. However, this also varied between countries, and it depended on whether the country had access to national PrEP programs. So we hope that some of our results will help advocate for greater PrEP access in the Asia region. Was there anything that uh, was uh, some, 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 something that came out as a surprise when you were working with this study? Um, I think that this, it was, I didn't expect that, um, that it was high risk, so these participants in red uh, were more, more likely to live in the high income Asian countries, but I was later explained that in these high income Asian countries such as Singapore, uh, Taiwan, Japan, and Hong Kong, that uh, they don't receive the same kind of subsidies for PrEP that um, low and middle income countries would have, like the other countries in our study. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you.